Hi, this is Coach Jeremy. I'm going to show you a combination that actually may be arguably the greatest player of all time, certainly one of the greatest, Jose Raul Capablanca used. This game, although it's not an outstanding game, and I'm sure his opponent was quite fearful of the fact that he was playing the world champion or the soon-to-be world champion at the time, this game illustrates very clearly an important point, which is that Chess is not just about capturing pieces. The name of the game is checkmate. That's what we're trying to do. Checkmate our opponent's king and prevent our king from being checkmated and we'll sacrifice our entire army to that end. So from this position, and never mind quite how we got here, queen to f7, check. The king only has one move, d6. Now the series of sacrifices begins. Knight to c4. The pawn is cutting off e5 and c5, so we have to take the knight. And then knight to e4, the other knight jumps in, check. The king only has one move, d5. Now we introduce a new attacking piece, the rook. Cannot be taken by the pawn, which is pinned by the queen, so we're forcing black again to take. He could have taken the pawn as well, but he takes the more valuable knight. Now we introduce again a new attacking weapon, rook A to E1, check, sacrificing a pawn. Now white hits him with C3, pawn check. The king has one move, D3, and now to end the game, we have rook to D5, double check, because there's a bishop there on H7, double check, checkmate, and if we notice, White's given up two knights, a bishop, that's nine, 10, 11, 12 points worth of material, has only captured five points of material, but it's the black king that's checkmated. So chess is clearly not just about capturing pieces.